Hey guys, it's Planet Discus Fish Tank, and today we're going on a tour of the Discus Madness showroom in Union, New Jersey. Discus Madness has a huge selection of discus, from babies and juveniles to adults and jumbo discus. Discus Madness also specializes in discus tank mates, from plecos to tetras to corycats. Discus Madness, they specialize in planted discus aquariums. They offer a wide variety of plants for both low-tech and high-tech discus tanks. So for the rest of the video, I talked to Matthias, owner of Discus Madness, about discus topics including breeding, feeding, sexing, community tank mates, and the planted tank. And so how long have you been, uh, I guess, in business? Well, we've been in business now 12 years. 12 years, okay. <clears throat> yes. And so were you a hobbyist before and you just converted hobby, to business? Hobby, yes, come yeah. from, yes, obviously. You know, you start as a hobby and then you love it so much. You yeah. You keep working hard and hard and then... So you had some really su success it. with breeding and you wanted to sell it first? Yes, or is that correct. How it started? That was, you know, we had like, uh, I had 14 breeding pairs. It was very successful in the beginning, but yeah. then uh, I guess if you really want to start making money, right. you have to concentrate more on the selling part of the, of the sure. business. Okay. So I left the breeding to a partner, yeah. which is upstate New York. That's where we do most of the breeding. I see. Okay. Yes. So you have and a warehouse up there? We do have a warehouse, same size as this, about 2,000 okay. square feet. And he does most of the breeding and we do the import importing over there too. I see. And. Um, so before the, and I just go once a month, I go pick up what I need, what I want. Okay. I go up, pick up my fish and bring them down according to what we sell, right. what we run out. Uh, some jungle I'm saying right now, these, they have, they have babies on the cone. You know, so this is a beautiful, uh, so that's a super confirmed pair. Renew. That's a confirmed pair with babies. Okay, that's some cobalt. And, yeah, and this is a pair of uh, white diamonds, confirmed pair as well. They just laid the eggs yesterday. Nice. As you can see, then we have a, Confirmed pair of uh, some angels there. Eh? Black yeah. of uh, redhead koi angels with eggs, and these are the babies from them. There's nice. some more babies yeah. here, a few more of okay. them. <coughs> so, do you breed most of your discus, or do you import? Uh, we do both. Both. Yes. Okay. We breed and we import. I see. Uh, uh, Asian stanker or? Uh, I'm mostly Asian. Okay. But we have the same breeders that we've been dealing for more than 25 years. I see. So I've been trying to breed too, but it seems like. Artificial breeding is so hard because you have to almost put all your time and effort. Yes. Hatching brine shrimp. Correct. 
uh, four hours. Feed him ten times a day. Yeah. Yeah. I've done some artificial breeding okay. myself. It was really a lot of work. So. So in your warehouse, what kind of do you let do the both. parents? Both. Let the parents. Okay, both. I got artificial you. Artificial and. You know, if the pair is nice enough to breed by themselves and they right. don't really require any help or they don't eat the eggs or the babies, That's true. you know, more power to them, right? Okay. Obviously, if you artificially raise them, you can increase the amount of spawns you get every month because they'll breed every two weeks if you uh, let them. That's true. But if That's they have true. the babies, you have to let them stay with the babies for a month before they can, you can take them out and then... They eat off the slime correct. For, for a whole month. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to well, that's why artificially raising uh, babies is probably good because uh, so the babies don't actually catch any bacteria or parasites or diseases from the pair. Right, right. So you put them in a separate tank where there are no other fish and then, you know, they're not going to get sick. They're going to grow really nice. That's true. Uh, for breeding discus, you might have to sterilize them, you know, sterilize them with potassium permanganate, do baths and take oh, care right, of them before. Yeah. They okay. become your breeding specimen. I got you. You know, so yeah, be extremely yeah. clean. That's you. what we do all the time to our breeding pairs. We do the potassium permanganate, potassium permanganate, okay. and uh, that's a dip, right? You just dip them. No, we actually you put it in. The, put it in for like four hours. We let it sit in there for four hours, and then we do the process is a little longer than that. It takes a little more. Than that. You, know, you have to do it uh, every few days. You can't do it too much, otherwise you burn their gills. I so you have to be careful of what you're doing. The dosage has to be accurate and then you do it for about a month so every five days we do it for a month yeah every five days. <clears throat> so besides uh selling discus you do um services as well we do we do maintenance okay. constellations um you know we do pretty much anything that the clients requires you know to like, like in the area like you saw yeah and, uh, uh, depending on their budget, we work on the budget of the clients. The client says no problem on any budget, which you know many times it happens. Yeah. Then you can do an amazing piece of work. So how's business going? Business been good. Busy. You know, we've been busy all yeah. summer. Really, uh, yeah. we're not a store, so we're not open 24/7. We're not sure. open uh, regular hours. You know, we're only open Monday to Saturday, right. but by appointment only. Saturday is sure. the only day we're open all the time from 11 to 5. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rest of the week we are open from, uh, from 10 to 6, but we require people to call us sure. before showing up. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So you do a lot of shipments? We do shipping the every day, Monday to Friday. All over the West Coast? All over America. All we over don't America. ship internationally, we don't ship uh, uh, only in America. Hawaii as well, Alaska when it's not so cold. Yeah. Wow. And Puerto Rico as well. We've been shipping fish to Puerto Rico as well. This guy's a male for sure. So that would be a good choice. And that's a very nice size. Oh, he's got the, uh, the pointy thing. Yeah, yeah. But also very thick, very wide forehead. I see. Yeah. Um, although I've seen males looking like females and females that's looking true. like males, so it's not always 100. percent But I can pretty much say that that's yeah, a male. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, the pointy. Uh, this is a turquoise. This looks like a male too. Oh yeah, he's got yeah. That's a very nice six plus inches male. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here. This is another breeding pair, by the way. Another okay. proven breeding pair. These are the 400 from the West. These are 400, correct. Oh yeah, they're jumbo. Yeah, six, definitely. And how old do you think these are? Like these are about two years old. Two years, yeah. yeah. This is a beautiful jump over there, but I can't really tell you if it's a male. It looks like a male. It is a breeding tube, it's not out, right? Actually very tiny, so the breeding tube is small, so that could be a male. But, you know, not 100% sure. This also looks like a male. This is a super cobalt green. That's a brilliant blue. That's the difference you can see in color. Super cobalt green has like a green hue to it. While the, deep, the brilliant blue is much more intense. The blue is more intense. Like now, so, so with yellow discus, they yeah. tend to turn orange with yes. plate food. In fact, the, 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 the beef art that we make, yeah. uh, we make three different kinds. One is the regular, with no uh -huh. color enhancing. Then we make two of them, one with yellow chlorophyll, which will increase your yellow, I see. and one with red chlorophyll. Obviously, if you have yellow fish, you're not going to 
you know, feed them red coloring uh, beef art, otherwise, you know, they're gonna turn orange. But yes, if you want this kind of color to stay like this and be very lemon yellow color, you have to feed them you can have two the ones, yellow yeah, color fill too. Okay. Definitely. I'll be interested in that. And those flakes food, they have a little bit of a red enhancer in yeah. all the flakes, so you have to be careful what you feed in your fish. Yeah. And then it just we have a drip system, so basically I can just open the bottles and just let it go. I see. And they, you know, they have overflows. Every tank has an overflow and. Every system has an overflow. So with a drip system, it just continues water change? Or, uh, we can do that if it's uh, depending. If we have a lot of fish in one system, then we do that. Okay. You know, but if we have a little less, uh, then we just do water changes, like 70 percent, 60, 50 percent of water changes, according to how much, uh, how big and how oh, many. Right, right. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Yes. Amazing. So you, you breed these two? No. This one, they come from a breeder in the Philippines. Philippines? Yep. That's where I'm from. Uh, See? Very nice. Awesome. So, yes. And these, uh, this breeder uh, is amazing. It breeds many other, many other plecos, you know, uh, Mega Clown, Pecolitia. We have, you know, many selection of different uh, rare plecos here. Right. You know, from the Rio Curua to... Um, Leopard South America, frogs. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, the chubby plecos we have as well, the angelicus plecos, you know. So we have a nice selection of different plecos. Yes. Uh, and um, yeah, we've been, you know, plecos has been pretty popular right now. They're yeah, absolutely. Been selling well. Um, zebra plecos at this price, because I don't think you can really find them any cheaper than this, $169 yeah. for uh, yeah, that's awesome. for one. Uh, and if you buy more than one, you know, go down in price, of course. I see. You know? So you got like a package we, we for packages, a package of five, you know. I see. Uh, you can find them online. Beautiful. Yeah. So what else goes in a discus fish tank other than plecos? You got cardinal well, you can get Yeah, you can uh, go get some schooling fish like uh, cardinals. But keep in mind, cardinals, tetras, they have to be jumbo or they will become food for that's your right. business. That's true, so, that's true. You know, you have to make sure that you know what, what fish to put in there. And but you do, yeah, uh, a lot of uh, schooling fish you can put, like gold tetras, or like, um, um, uh, right now, uh, rasboras, yeah. you know, like uh, raminos, tetras, uh, and then some of the larger ones, you know, you can put like ventosi tetras as well are okay. Anything that is a little peaceful, you don't want anything that is too aggressive. Sure. So I would not recommend barbs, for example. Barbs are pretty aggressive. I got you. Um, rainbow fish, it's like so-so. If rainbow fish, you can put them in if the tank is big enough mm -hmm. for them to swim around and not not scare the, the discus uh, all the time. You know. So now with planted tanks and discus, yes. uh, so discus love water changes, right? So how do you? Love water uh, changes, but you know plants love that that too. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, so you do. We when we do maintenance on our discus aquariums mm -hmm. for our clients we do a weekly maintenance weekly water change right and um you know and then we feed the plants on a daily basis basically basically you know so with the liquid fertilizers liquid fertilizer okay. and then co2 injection depending what plants they have you know okay um, obviously we make our own liquid fertilizer too i see um you know just probably the same thing as as flourish iron and all the other uh, phosphate ingredients that you trace elements that you use. Do you have a, an all-in-one type of fertilizer where Yeah, we don't really recommend the all-in-one because all-in-one it only means that you're gonna be feeding too much of one type. I see. And not enough for another. I got you. So you have to feed the proper amount of food. Yeah. So, you know, so the iron plant takes with B, with boron, pretty much has everything that they need. Right. With the addition of the phosphate monopotassium phosphate which we also add in case you don't have enough fish into your tank and you I only see. have plants so that's part of the, the macros the, the phosphate correct okay i got you right if you have adults you feed them once a day and you're good yeah so you know you have to create a balance in a, in a planted tank so when you have small fish you can't expect your plants to really thrive and do extremely well right because you're overfeeding all the time you're trying to get your your discus to right. grow a certain size but um, if you have a plant to take with some adults, then yes, you feed them only once a day and they're happy and you can take care of your plants. Right. Purchase, thank you.
Yeah. Yep. Come on, grab that. Right to go. Nope. You gonna help me out, please? Yep. yep. Thank you. This way? Yes. That's right. Enjoy your fish. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you, Matthias. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the interview. Okay, bye-bye.